Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Sorry folks, I'm back You know, all my life I dealt with people saying You do this, you do that, we pay you You do this, you do that, we pay you So it's just getting frustrating When I'm hearing people say You say this, you say that, we donate it I'm trying folks I'm, I'm trying. If you don't want to donate, don't donate. That's all I can tell you. I'm trying. But please subscribe. That's free. Just subscribe, folks. We'll really appreciate it. We're still giving you content. Just subscribe. At least our channel could build. Maybe our channel going to be telling us to say this or that and they're not going to believe in us. I don't know. Maybe our own channel going to start talking to us. I don't know, folks. We're trying. We're trying to give you guys good content and be real. But it's tough. It's tough. We trying though. All we can do is keep it real like we always do. A lot of people that have been following us from when we started, you kind of know what this story is. I can't keep repeating the same words over and over. We lived in a toxic situation. I had to get my daughter out the toxic situation, people. I can't go all the way back and tell you all this backstory stuff. It burns me up even thinking about it. Yeah. Family wasn't good. I don't know what else to tell you. I had to get my daughter out that toxic situation. Family wasn't good. My dad's side wasn't good. My, my Nothing's good. Family, that's why we're here. It's nobody to turn to. Wake up. It's just me and my daughter. That's all this is. Me and my daughter. We're going to fight this battle together. They take the car. We we walk around. I don't know. We'll fight it, but I can't have her in shelters. I can't do it. She get high anxiety around people. Yeah. It's just what it is. Soon she'll tell you her story. I have schizophrenia and psychosis. And I still have thoughts that someone cast this spell on me. Back in 2021, when I was feeling a lot of shocks on my skin and being stuffed in my mouth and tasting things in my mouth. And I believe I reacted towards it. And I was diagnosed with something. I had to go to a mental facility. My, my dad here, he took care of me. He took care of me, and I thank you for that. Yeah, he really made sure I had my medication. He he had a rehabilitation room for me. He decked it out. He made sure I had my meals. He walked with me. Took care of me. But I still believe I was under a spell. Like someone casted a spell on me. That's what I believe happened to me. But the doctors don't want that to be true they don't want me to believe in that they don't want me thinking that so that's why i'm on medication a lot of medication so i can get those thoughts out of my mind so i don't think that but that's probably something i'm always going to believe in my head because of what was happening to me and i don't know what that was but whatever it was um it didn't seem real at all it didn't seem authentic none, none of it seemed real like that could happen in real life so i know that was impossible but i believe i reacted towards it and i was running out of the house my dad got me it was a lot going on well and i was screaming yes the problem with that was that actually the day it happened uh she already had the problem. We knew that because she used to knock on her. 
she used to come downstairs and and, and tell me so, you know somebody sent her a, a witchcraft messages so one day I came home and and my daughter had that serious look on her face and I knew something was wrong and she took off running mm -hmm. and she ran on the, through the backyard jumped on top of the uh, brick fence which is about seven feet tall I don't know how she got up there she pulled herself up there about six feet and it was these little dirt stair things. I guess she got on there and jumped on top of there and uh, got backwards and let go. Luckily, I was right there. I was chasing her and I jumped and caught her. We fell together on the ground and she was knocked out for about 20 seconds. I thought I lost her and she woke up running and I just grabbed her and, and held on to her. Yeah. And uh, she jumped back over the fence again because, you know, them dirt, little dirt things makes it shorter. She jumped on the fence, took off, ran, and I just held her. And from then on, she really was uh, in a bad state. And I didn't know what it was, so. Yeah, the voices were telling me things, and I was believing it. And it was scaring me. And I, I jumped. Yeah, so uh, I held on to her. I thought, you know, she'd get better. And she was talking in tongues. I didn't know what words she was saying. Yeah, I was, I was speaking. I was like an exorcist. Like, I, I remember I was like talking in Spanish. I yeah. don't even know Spanish. Yeah, yeah, she was talking Spanish, all kind of words. And uh, so she did that. For, you know, like I say, every I stayed there. I just stayed with her. I didn't know. Yeah, I just thought she'd snap out of it. And we did that for about a month or two. Yeah, they were telling me that there was kids inside of me. The voices I was hearing, they were yeah. telling me there was kids inside of me. So that's what I told the mental facility. Yeah, and then that, that you know, uh, one night it was just too much to handle. She was trying to get out the doors. So that's when I decided to call the mental institution um, and then got her, you know, voluntarily got her in there. And uh, uh, they really helped her and, you know, gave her some insight on how to get better. When she got out, she wasn't good. So it, it took some time, folks. This is not no miracle here. You have to, you know, you have to believe in your kids if they in this kind of condition. And uh, she got better. But I was there now. I put in a lot of time and work and effort. She slept a lot in the beginning. She didn't do a lot in the beginning. Mm -hmm. I would say for about a month, she didn't do nothing. She just slept all the time with a whole bunch of medication in her. And then I'm um, almost two months. And yeah. she slowly started to get out of that. I fed her, make sure she changed her clothes. I had to comb her hair. Thank you know, you. It, it was, I had to prepare her clothes. I, you know, wash her clothes. I did everything. She just basically, I gave her her clothes. I, I stood by the restroom door and made sure she was all right and got her out there. Sometimes I had to get her out the restroom. She, I couldn't get out the restroom. It wasn't an easy battle there. You're looking at somebody that's been through a lot. You guys look at her and she's playful with me and everything, but you know, she sleeps a lot. You guys just don't see that, but she, she's doing a lot better. She has her moments. You guys just see the good moments, but, but she does have her moments. She came a long way and she's getting better. Mm -hmm. We just want to re relay that to some of the people who wa didn't watch some of the early videos. We talk about this a lot and the situation we in and how we got out the situation and how we got into this situation. So, you know, if you guys don't understand something, just go back and look at some of those early videos. But we're trying, folks, and we want to make sure you guys get, uh, get updated. Okay, it's getting dark, and uh, we need to get out this location. And um, until next time, we'll talk to you guys a little later. All right. Bye. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know I dealt with people saying you do this, you do that, we pay If I Let me figure out where the road goes say this, you say that, we don't even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs That's all I can tell you, I'm trying You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Maybe I channel, but we